Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. And yes, we are back in Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's been a while. Why am I back in this game? Well, we've got to thank Jackamac43, who very kindly bought me the Viva La France DLC. So, I thought, hey, let's try to get back into this game. I have been playing more American Truck Simulator recently, rather than Euro Truck Simulator 2, so it's kind of nice in a way, right, to get back into this game. Now, why have we got a webcam? Well, because I'm using this Sim Raceway Steel Series SRW S1 wheel. While I'm driving along, I'll explain more about why I'm using this, but this is a pretty good wheel for this game. It's got a lot of buttons on the front for you to use for various features and functions of your truck and on the back I use this for the accelerator and brake and I use these for indicators these are really nice they're quite nicely sprung and it means that your accelerator and your brake can be quite progressive which is nice so yeah um, I'll choose a job and then we'll get driving and then I'll, I'll explain more about why I'm using this Okay, this one. Ooh, let's do this one. An excavator. I'll probably end up like crashing that, but never mind. We'll give it a go. Okay, it's night time. Let's turn on our lights. Let's get going. Let's take a look where we're supposed to be going. I think it's a left, isn't it? Must be a left. It's got to be a left, isn't it, really? Nice and slowly at the beginning, especially because there's another trailer. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's move our view a little bit down so I can see the steering wheel. I always like to see the steering wheel a bit more, you know. Slowly, slowly wins the race and doesn't crash the, ex the excavator, in theory. Right, let's take a look. Anyone coming? Nope. That helps. Let's hope no one's coming the other way. Otherwise, we might be stuck. Can't really see my trailer anymore. I assume we're good. Yeah, we're good. Not exactly the best way to pull out, but never mind. Oh, we need a, we need our wipers. It's raining. Okay. And we're going right. Now, when I use this steering wheel, it is a little bit annoying when you have to, you know change like when you're trying to look around as well as steer it can be a bit annoying but also I think I think it will take me a bit of time to get used to that maybe at the moment I'm not fully used to it but it's like you get to a roundabout and you've got to look like this and it can be a little bit disorienting you know he says, going all over the road. Calm it down now. We're like all over the roundabout. That's perfect. This is not a video for showing pro gameplay, as you can see. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do find roundabouts and some of the tight turns quite hard with this steering wheel. I think it's just I need to get used to it, maybe. Maybe when I get used to it, I might be able to do it a bit better. But I'm finding at the moment, because I have to use buttons on here to look around, 
you know, I find it a bit hard at roundabouts. But yeah, so why am I using this Steel Series SRWS1 wheel? Well, when I've been playing American Truck Simulator, I mean, obviously, a while back, I would have been using my Thrustmaster steering wheel, which is now in storage. So ever since I put that steering wheel in storage, I, when I played American Truck Simulator, I successfully used my Steam Controller. And I made a video about that, because I was amazed at how well that went, you know. But then when I was getting back, and I think it stopped raining, wasn't it? But when I was getting back into this game, I did try to use the Steam Controller first, and for some reason I just couldn't get it working well in this game. Um, when I tried a similar style of template like what I use on American Truck Simulator, I found the steering in this game really jerky and really hard to control and it just didn't work well at all. I then found another template which used the joypad, the trackpad I mean, on the right side of the steam controller. It used that for you to steer. Now the, the steering was a lot smoother but I felt like it was going to take me a very long time for me to get used to um, that way of using the steam controller on this game. It worked and it was pretty smooth with the steering but I just found my level of control was not very good and like I said it might be just because I had to get used to it more and again this is a bit tricky. Let's be careful here, there's nothing coming. Maybe I just need to do these roundabouts kind of slowly but the problem is I find that the cars in this game will suddenly veer up on you like really quickly. Before you know it, there's a car there and you've like crashed into it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just wasn't able to find a way of using the Steam Controller. I tried a few of the various styles of templates. For me, I couldn't feel, you know, comfortable enough with that in this game so there must be a bit of a difference like maybe American trucks because they handle slightly differently or maybe because in American Truck Simulator the amount of room you have is more the white the roads are wider for example so maybe that's why the steam the steam controller worked great in that but not in this because obviously in European truck simulator maybe because the, the because the trucks handle slightly differently and the roads are more windy and thin maybe that's it I don't know but yeah so then I thought hey why don't I try to pull out this steel series SRW wheel because I have used it in the past a long time ago I obviously haven't used it a lot recently because when I've had my Thrustmaster wheel, of course using a regular fully fledged wheel is always going to be better than using this style of wheel. But after setting it up, you know, it does seem to work pretty well with this game, you know. Your level of control is pretty good and it is pretty smooth on the old steering. Do I have to give way here? I think we're good. You know, it's not perfect but it works pretty well and I've been able to play this game pretty well using this Steel Series wheel. Oh, we've got some kind of roadworks and traffic lights, that's cool. kind of goes without saying that this DLC is going to be amazing because the more DLC that they are putting out for this this game and I mean specifically the map DLC they just seem to make each one better than the last one and they you know 
it's really cool. They they add a lot of detail into their map expansions. And maybe it's not the best thing in the world to be driving at night time when this video is using a a DLC that I haven't used before, the Viva La France, but frankly I'm sure that all of you guys that are interested in this game either already own this DLC, because I am very late to the party, or you've watched loads of videos already to show you what this DLC looks like so frankly I'm not you know this video has kind of turned more into about this steering wheel than the uh, the DLC you know some some other people that use this wheel they will make some kind of stand to go on their their desk so that it holds it in a set set position I think that would work pretty well. Um, I haven't tried that, or I haven't tried to do that as yet, but I've seen other, other people. Because there's a hole at the back of the wheel, there's some kind of hole with like a screw thing on it. So, that could be an option. I mean, I think this thing at the moment will go for about 130 US on Amazon right now. So it's not cheap, but it's obviously cheaper than a regular steering wheel. But like I said before, obviously a regular steering wheel is a better option and feels more realistic than this. But I suppose if you, you know if you don't have a lot of room, or for whatever reason, if you don't want to have a wheel on your desk, or you can't be bothered to keep setting up a wheel every time you want to play this game then this is a a decent option like I can just kind of store it away very very quickly take it out very quickly okay we're, we're, we're probably going way too fast because we're in like a built up area but that's fine alright then roundabout and then a toll road thing. I don't see any vehicles so I'm not going to bother looking and I bet when I do that a, a car will fly and like crash into me probably and I just cut across the grass there. <laughs> Quality driving. I suppose you could say that there is some lack of precision using this over a regular steering wheel but you know it's it's not too bad like i wouldn't recommend this steering wheel for any racing or driving simulators where you're highly com competitive if you're being very competitive i wouldn't say this is a great steering wheel because you know you're never going to feel the same amount of precision as you are with a regular steering wheel but it is perfect for a game like this because obviously in a game like this we're not really you know it's it's not a very super competitive style of game you know and you don't have that joypad jerkiness that you will get you know when you try to drive with a joypad Right, we can't be that far away now. Just a little bit of a stint along this motorway. If you have noticed anything in my game is different from your game, that'll be because I've added a variety of mods. I can't help myself whenever I play these games. I always have to scour and look for some mods. I'm feeling like I might need to look for a mod for the AI traffic because it seems very aggressive or I don't know man it seems to be a bit scary 
Maybe it's maybe it's just me. Okay, right turn coming up. go probably going way too fast but good no vehicles on the road it must be the middle of the night literally Pulling in. Okay, let's go. Onk, onk. So, literally another five minutes and we'll be at our destination. I have been also copping out recently from parking the trailer like you saw in my last American Truck Simulator video these days I've been enjoying the cruising but kind of copping out of doing any parking I kind of feel like as well like doing the parking with a normal steering wheel it's, it's pretty good but for anyone that does the parking with a controller or, you know, things like that, I think that's amazing. Because when I try to do parking with a controller, it seemed like a nightmare. No cars coming. I like it at night time when it's like this. It's really nice at night time when it's quiet. I assume we have roundabouts that are coming up soon. Like I said before, roundabouts are a bit tricky with this thing. Maybe I just need to get used to it. I think that this time I'm going to fully stop like that. Look, no one's come in. Oh, look back. Here we go. That was a bit better. A bit, a bit better. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! We just grazed the fence, guys. Don't worry. We just grazed the fence. We just, we were just trying to test it you know just to make sure it's st strong enough you know <laughs> again I'm gonna stop fully stop oh, oh, of course no one's coming yay right let's try and do this corner a bit better Uh, it was a bit better. <laughs> okay, it's a good job we're nearly at the destination now, because, you know, I'm clearly not very good in tight situations. But I'm going to blame that on this steering wheel. And again on the on the path. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll be fine. 
There we go. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.